hi my dear students in the previous class we have already worked out one problem next we are moving to some higher level problems in connection with the chamber interest as you see in the screen please notice the second problem it may not be easily legible for you so i shall read out it first Calculate the total interest on Rs. 500 for 73 days, comma, Rs. 720 for 14 weeks and on Rs. 900 for 3 months. All at 6 percent per annum. Here three amounts are given. Suppose all these three amounts are taken as a loan from a financial institution. First amount Rs. 500 is taken for 73 days only and the second amount 720 is for 14 weeks and the third amount Rs. 900 for 3 months. As I explained in the previous class, simple interest is calculated on the basis of or using by a formula PNR divided by 100. P for principal, N for number of years or period, or rate of interest. Here the principal amounts are given 500 or rupees 720, 9900. But with regard to the N or the period, N is not given in the form of years. It is given in days, in weeks and in months. If it is given in other forms, that means days, weeks and months other than year. If it is given in years, it can be directly applied in the formula. If it is for 5 years, n is equal to 5. But if the period or n is given in other forms, for example, days, weeks and months, there is a slight variation in the formula. That means n will change as given in below. If it is suppose 73 days, the first amount 500 is taken for 73 days. Here n will be 73 divided by total days in a year. We know that there are uh, 365 days in a year. So here n will be 73 divided by 365. As you see here. 73 divided by 365. Principal amount is 500. R will be 6 percentage. Rate of interest is same in all three cases. Here uh, we can apply the formula PNR divided by 100 500 into 73 divided by 365 into 6 by 100 when we work out this formula we will get rupees 6 as answer we are moving to the second amount here it is 720 n will uh, n will be 14 divided by 52 why it is 14 divided by 52 it is given in weeks we know that there are 52 weeks in a year there are 52 weeks in a year so if it is for 14 weeks n will be changed as 14 divided by 52 r will be the same 6 percentage here let us apply the simple interest formula amount is 722 720 n is 14 divided by 52 now change in the case of rate of interest 6 by 100 the amount or the answer will be P is 
and the ingift of third amount rupees 900 n will be 3 by 12 it is given in the period is given in months this amount 900 is taken for 3 months only so n will be 3 out of 12 as you know there are 12 months in a year so 12 is uh, taken as denominator 3 out of 12 will be the uh, value of n very different of same pnr divided by 100 and 100 i into 3 by 12 by into 6 by 100 will give an answer 13.50 uh, we have to calculate the total interest so these three amounts of interest can be added together in order to calculate the total interest this is as given below 6 plus 11.63 plus 13.50 is equal to rupees 33.50 one three I hope you have understood we are moving to the next problem find the face value of a bill due six months hence at 12 percent per annum whose present worth is 4500 Let us see how it can be solved. A bill is matured after 6 months for 12% interest whose present worth is 4500. Here the question implies or question asks us to solve or find out what will be the amount after 6 months for 12% per annum the present worth is or present value of the bill is 4500 here also 12% is simple interest P here is 4500 present value as it is 6 months n should be taken as 6 by 12 we know that 6 by 12 is equal to 0 0.05 R will be 12% The face value of bill after 6 months will be P plus PNR into 100 Why we are taking this formula here P plus PNR by 100 We are not asked to find out only the interest we have to calculate the total value after six months the value after six months that means the value of 4500 after six months is to be calculated here so we have to add principal amount plus total interest accrued so we are taking the formula as explained in the previous class P plus PNR divided by 100 here P is 4500 plus 4500 into 0.5 you can give it as 6 by 5 also 6 by 12 also same case into 12 by 100 so 4500 plus 270 is equal to 4770 will be the value for okay we are moving to the fourth question i shall read out find the number of years a sum of rupees 10000 will take to become 18000 if the rate of interest is 8 percentage we are asked to find out the number of years by which an amount of rupees 10000 will become 18000 with a simple interest rate of 8 percentage we are given 10,000 as principal amount and 18,000 which is the total amount together with the interest after a fixed number of years on a simple interest of 8 percentage 
and the rate of interest is interest is 8 percent okay let us see how it can be solved here we can write down the simple interest formula pnr divided by 100 pnr divided by 100 is equal to 8000 8000 here is we know that the simple interest rate can be calculated using this formula pnr divided by 100 how can we arrive at this 8000 as simple interest we know that the initial amount was 10,000 after a fixed period it becomes 18,000 so let us identify that 18,000 minus 10,000 will become simple interest a 10,000 rupees becomes 18,000 after a fixed period at the rate of a fixed rate of interest so we can assume or identify that this 8000 will be the simple interest accrued I, ho I hope you have got it so we know that what is simple interest what is the amount of simple interest we know the principal amount 10000 here we don't know the value of n that is the number of years by which the amount of 10,000 becomes 18,000 we know the rate of interest 18,000 8%, uh, 8 the known values can be applied into this, for, into this formula it will become 10,000 into n into 8 divided by 100 into 80,000 sorry 8,000 this 100 can be taken to this side it will become 8 lakhs then the formula becomes 10,000 into n into 8 into 80,000 then we can multiply this 10,000 with 8 10,000 into 8 is equal to 80,000 N. It will become 80,000 N. Then 80,000 N is equal to 8 lakh. So the N number of years that we are asked to calculate in this problem 8 lakhs divided by 80,000 is equal to